It's finally here guys. The Salt Fever 9 pack has finally released to walmart.com. Now the reason why the anticipation has been built up over the last few months to absolutely insane levels is because Walmart listed this pack with full pictures of everything in September. And so people thought, okay, yeah, I'm sure it'll come out like next month, couple weeks here. And they were like, oh, I'm sure they'll probably have it for Black Friday, you know, in November, right after Thanksgiving. And they're like, oh, I'm sure they'll have it like sometime in December, you know, to prep for the holiday season. No, 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 and kind of, because they finally did get in stock in mid-December, but in very, very small quantities. So as soon as they went up, they went down. Like immediately, I was not able to get one from walmart.com and I have stopped trying. I just grabbed one from Get Me Collectibles who I obviously support here on the channel and I recommend you check him out. A link to all of his stuff is in the description below along with his email if you wanna contact him about case unboxings and all that good stuff. So yeah, it's great that it's finally out. The pack, however, is definitely a little questionable. It's got its flaws and we'll get into that later, but the major, major exciting component to the set is none other than exclusive Peggy Liner, aka Super Long Car, voiced by Kemma Philby. She was actually one of the first, and probably, well, besides Owen Wilson and Larry the Cable Guy, like the first real casting announcement because she posted on her Instagram. I actually messaged her before we talked about doing an interview. So it's really cool. This car is actually really special to me because of the fact that I've contacted the actress. I think that's really neat. And yeah, it's so great that she was so willing to talk to me. I think she also did some voices for some other background cars in the show. But the first major problem with this pack is that it includes all duplicates that have already been released in some format some of which actually have been released in multiple formats, quite a few of them actually. And so for a lot of people, they just waited, they didn't buy any of these really, just waited to get this pack. Very wise of you, I'm very happy you did that. Obviously for me, I wanted to get them all early to review them for you. Some people, they just couldn't wait, you know, they wanted these cars and they weren't going to wait to see, you know, whenever this Salt Flats 9 pack eventually came out. And a lot of people actually thought it was going to get canceled because it took so long, but I'll leave the Walmart link for it in the description below if you want to try yourself. It retails for $40 on there, but like I said, I never saw it in stock even though I refresh constantly for days. But you know, there's a lot of people that come in and just kind of buy a bunch and that's how they sell out so quickly. Now starting, it does come in this like cardboard box by the way, Disney Plus 9 pack as you can see there. Like this is how it will ship to you. I love how it says don't put on shelf till July 17th. Like we've talked about that before and how I'm sure that was the original intended date for a lot of this stuff and it just got incredibly delayed. Now I absolutely adore the artwork that they have on the front of the box here. It's in a great, cool kind of comic book aesthetic. I do think it's a little misleading though because obviously we're not getting Super Speeder Mater in his metal suit there. The only time they did that was in the Salt Flats playset which I reviewed. I'll link that in the description below and card trash and pop up in the top right corner. That's the only way you can get this. It is coming out as a mini racer though so there is that but it doesn't come out in this box so I don't know why they drew that. I think that was a little silly. Also I wish they included maybe images of everybody or at least some more of the characters in this pack because it does look a little dry. And it also is leading me to believe that this will not be a retail release, meaning you will not be able to find this in a store. It will not be released to any stores. It is a Walmart exclusive, but it seems to be a walmart.com exclusive, as in it's only on their online store. That comes as a major surprise to me because I mean, they have multi-packs. I mean, look in the background. I have a couple five packs back there. Target has their own exclusive four pack and 11 packs and all that stuff, so I thought it would just be in the same vein as those. Evidently not though, it's in the same vein as the Amazon multi-packs that we've gotten you know, in years past with Bobby Road Testa, Bruce Miller, Harvey Roadcap, Aaron Clocker, etc., etc. Although I think I just named them all. It's done in the 2022 packaging style, 2023, although I do think this is technically a 2022 release. And yeah, the artwork even carries on to the sides, which I think is really cool. There's the bomb of the box. And yeah, on the back here, you have Sarah Coggs, of course, Peggy Liner, Noriyuki, Revo Koss, Royce Revsley, Dats Jammin, 
Speed, Demon, and Road Trip, Mater, and McQueen. Yep, all of them are duplicates and actually is really unfortunate because the image for these on walmart.com actually shows Mater and McQueen with salty tires, kind of like the ones you see here on Royce, Revo, and Dats, Noriyuki, all of them have it. But they are just the regular versions that you can get as singles. So yeah, Peggy is the only thing new in this set. Another thing to mention is that these are all of the Salt Flats characters they did in 2022. It leaves out Gearson Marshall, who just came out in 2023 Case B. I'll be right back with this pack all opened up. Cannot wait to get all these duplicates. There's no denying that this is an absolutely fantastic starter pack for anyone getting into the cars hobby or simply getting into cars on the road because it has, like I said, all your Salt Flats characters minus Gearston Marshall who just came out. And the Salt Flats are pretty much the majority of what they've released so far. Obviously, you have some of the circus ones. You have... I don't even know. See, they really haven't done much else. That's why it makes these so great. Yeah, it's pretty much just Circus and Salt Flats. And eventually they'll get into some of the others. Like we're getting Zombie Car here soon. But if you get this and you don't have all the other stuff already, you're pretty much set. You know, you're doing pretty good for cars on the road. And I've also come to the conclusion that you're pretty much like if you don't have or if you do have all these other ones or if they just don't really matter to you you're trying to get peggy liner you are buying peggy liner like i know it sounds stupid but 40 dollars that is peggy liner right this is an extremely detailed extremely unique piece from Mattel, something that they have never really done before something they haven't delved into it's more than a deluxe it's this wildly erratically shaped car, very irregular, something that they would never have done before because they simply don't have the means to do so. I mean, sure, you could do anything in a multi-pack, I guess. But think about it. When have they released a car like this that wasn't in like the San Diego Comic-Con or D23? You know, that's where they release these irregularly shaped cars. This reminds me of Trev because it has like the length of Trev the train, not necessarily as big, but it reminds me of that. And the fact that they are doing these weird characters and there's a lot of them in cars on the road that don't fit your you know standard blister right so this is highly encouraging to me it's got a beautiful red gold metallic paint here there are a couple issues with it we'll get to but oh my gosh like i don't feel too bad about getting all these duplicates because a lot of the money in my opinion is going to peggy liner here like i would buy 40 dollars. like i would buy peggy liner for 40 bucks you know kill me whatever i think it's awesome and so we're going to go through all the other cars here, compare them to the previous releases, which might be boring, but we're going to do it just to be thorough. And then we'll get to Peggy Liner because you guys know what we do here on the channel. We save the best for last. Now, I've reviewed every car here you see. So if you want to learn more about the characters, their history, where they appear in the Salt Fever episode, check out those videos. I'll have some of them linked in the description and the card suggestion pop up, but I can't obviously link them all, but they're all there, right? All right, so we're going to start with Revo Cost. I have the single version of him here on the left, and the single version is R34A. This one is R33A, and so that's pretty wild to me, the fact that this guy was made a week before the single version, at least the one I have, and yet it came out about two months after the single version. So that's yeah, just going to show some logistical errors on Mattel's part, but they do look to be pretty much identical. Looks like mine has got some dust on it, if you can notice that. Some sort of blemishing right there. That isn't great. I'm not a big fan of Revo. Again, I've voiced my opinion on these salt tires. They're basically snow tires or like frosting tires because they're just completely caked in white. There's no detailing to them. It's not like they wanted to meticulously create these tires so that they looked realistic. Nope, they're just gonna make them all in white, unlike sometimes when they do, like for example, Griswold with his muddy tires, it's not just completely brown. You could still see the blackness of 
the tire. So I'm honestly happy that they did not do that for Gearson Marshall, but then it creates a problem of inconsistency. But yeah, I'm going to come to the conclusion that these are identical. All right, thanks Revo for playing. Gonna go back there. Speed Demon was one of the first cars on the road characters to be released way back in August. Let's see here. R22A, this one is R33A. So, so far, everything in this pack is R33. Now, another weird thing about the Salt Fever 9 pack is that it shows, or at least there was like a website that showed prototype pictures of it, and you could tell that like Sarah Cox did not have salt tires. You could tell that McQueen and Mater did have salty tires. You could tell that Speed Demon was fully painted in black. She didn't have all these gray fenders and wheel caps right here. But of course, on the actual diecast, she still does, which is inaccurate. I believe she should be all black, just like the prototype from the San Diego Comic-Con had, in fact. So it's a little disappointing that I don't know why they would paint her in gray. It probably has to do with the fact that those are plastic pieces, whereas the center part is die cast. And yeah, that does make her one of the lightest Cars characters to ever roam the earth. Yeah, I mean, it's a cool car for sure. I like the angel wings and all that. Again, a very unique car that's become quite iconic in its short tenure so far. But again, they are identical. Thanks for playing, Speed Demon. Now, Royce Revsley is one of the few to be released in multiple formats. You have the single version from Case L, and then you have the two-pack version, the accessory two-pack version, also exclusive to Walmart, with Dats Jammin'. This one is R28A. This one is R33A still. So we're on a roll. Maybe this will be the first time we actually get a variant. One of them's bound to have some sort of difference, right? Maybe not. Still want to know what NIC means. I really am curious to see what all of his numbering actually stands for. It would be really cool to find that out. I do love Roy's. I think he's one of the best cars on the road releases they've done so far. It's a great little VW bug. It's got the engine and the cage back here, which I just find so cool. Huge exhaust pipe that you can kind of twirl around. But that all being said, I'm concluding that these two are identical. Thank you for joining us. Sarah Coggs, you are up next. The pity who was supposed to speak. What on earth is that? Looks like Sarah Coggs is some sort of like dimple. What is this circle here? Oh my God. That's like imprinted in the metal. What on earth? If I didn't just open this from the set, I would have thought this was a prototype or a reject. How do they let that get past quality control? Look at that. It has like a bullet hole in her. Oh my God. You can't just like wipe it off either. That is a part of the metal. Have you guys ever had this happen to you where like your car is like a bubble? It's like a weird glass pimple. Oh my God. Look at that, guys. That is so weird. It's like a third goggle eye. Like, I cannot get that off. It's like almost like some glue. Residual glue, too. Oh, my Jesus. Jesus in the morning. That is not good. I don't appreciate that, Mattel. I might have to tweet at you for that with some sort of Karenist comment. Anywho, here is the Sarah Cogs from the two-pack. With Noriyuki, who we'll get to momentarily. Eh, the mouth looks a little different. The tongue placement looks a little different. But eh, probably not intentional or anything like that. Most variants, honestly, aren't intentional. Yellow hat. Orange goggles. Turquoise. Black bumper down here. R26A versus R30. Ooh, we have an R34. So not everything in... The nine pack was made during the same week. Maybe made within the same seven day period, but not the same exact week. So there you have the Sarah Cogs. Obviously, I don't know what's going on with mine. That's very strange. Get the heck out of here. Thank you very much. Noriyuki, you are up. 
So again, now Noriyuki, the one I have here is from the two pack, but he was also released as a single in case M of 2022. So another buddy, another buddy. Yeah, <laughs> another buddy who has been released in three formats like Royce. R26A, R34A. So I love how Noriyuki and Sarah Cog stay together. They're both 34. This one's got a lot of jolt to it, a lot of jounce. But the fronts look the same. Visor, light, decal, tires, scrap metal that's very <laughs> nondescript, very not detailed. No, they look pretty much the same to me. Would be cool to like take all the stuff out of his bed and like make a custom of him, make take the visor off and just kind of make him a generic service vehicle. I think that'd be cool. He's got some crazy jounce to him though. All right, it is Dat's Jammin's turn. Now the one I have here is from the two pack with Royce Revsley. And it is yeah, so it's going to be the same as the single version of him that came out in Case M. And it looks like it's going to be the same as the 9-pack one here as well. Although the eyes look to be a little higher maybe. Maybe I'm just envisioning that because I'm... I don't know. They definitely do look a little higher. Especially that left eye. His right eye, the way we're looking at the left eye. And you might see some differences in like the bare metal finish here and like the cloudiness of it. But that is not... Yeah, you don't call it a variant if that's different. Parachute, yeah, it's kind of hard to make a variant out of him. There's not much going on here. R27A and R33A. Cool. Yeah, I really like this. Another very unique car. All right, Lightning McQueen, Road Trip Lightning McQueen. Where is my, oh, he's all the way back here. So this is going to be, I don't even know which one this is anymore. It's probably, yeah, R18A. That means it was either from the Circus 4-pack or the single from Case K. Of course, you have the Radiator Springs on the road logos there. Again, not too many decals on this McQueen to make variants. 95 on the back. Yeah. Nice. Glad to have another one of those. Slash S. And here we have quote unquote road trip Mater, who is just regular Mater. This is a very oh R21A. Oh yeah, this is from the Salt Flats 9 pack. Or oh my god, the Salt. No, no, no. The Circus 4 pack. How about that? There we go. I'm on the same page now. Because I know I have like a Thailand Mater from like a year or so ago as well. Tomator Towing and Salvage, Radiator Springs. Not a horrible decal. A113 license plate. And yeah, I'm going to conclude that every single variant is pretty much identical for all practical purposes. Cool. Thank you guys for joining me and letting me test you guys out. It is now Peggy's turn, and gosh, am I excited. So I'm going to toss an image on the screen of Peggy. You don't really see her eyes or anything, but she does pass through the screen, and yeah, you get to see the entirety of her from the side. I do believe she is supposed to be, she should be longer. Like theoretically, if they made this to scale, she should be another couple inches longer just based on how long she takes to traverse, you know, the screen there. And, you know, you could kind of tell the length almost just based on Lightning McQueen. I mean, there's a lot of like this part here and there's more of a gap in between this last engine here and her eyes. So yeah, you guys know what I'm trying to say. She should be a little bit longer, but I'm still glad they gave us her regardless. Like I'd rather have her a little short than to not get her at all. R33A, and they did to the salt effect on her base and tires as well. Fortunately though, it is not as visible, just kind of like that's jamming because everything's enclosed. So that's a plus. Now take a look here at the front, which is, <laughs> very narrow. She does have a cute little smile right there. You can see 
I love how she looks like the eyes. I just see all the blown engines leading up to her eyes. Such an odd character. But yeah, beautiful red metallic, kind of fiery in the front here. She's got a few decals that we'll take a look at here. AMR P1 R P L. No, no, that's R L R. Again, I don't know what all these decals on these salt flats racers mean. Obviously, Dash Jammin is just 08, but even with Rebo Cost, like he has some additional numbers. Maybe that's just like a registration code, but I want to know what MCL means. And of course, Royce Revsley has a bunch. And so does Peggy here. She's got several vents right here, exhaust pipes, I would assume. Quite a few, I guess five, one for every one of her blown engines, which are plastic inserts. Really nicely done though. Oh my God, just adds to her uniqueness. Of course, the center part of here is metallic gold, which is just gorgeous. Like this is practically the same shade as your racing center, Cruz Ramirez. The eyelids are like a tan, which is a little strange, but it looks good. She's got some more decals here. Those are just some pictures it looks like. 327 seems to be her main number. Then you have 104, 1LAS. Don't know what that means. I mean, she's got numbers up the yin yang. 704-08-N, 714-GCE. Oh my gosh, I want to know. This one I know. That is the Australian flag. She is Australian. I like the window here. That's actually built in, by the way. That's not a decal. But this spoiler here is a plastic inserted piece that looks a little odd because it's just straight up yellow. It's not metallic or anything, but still looks really solid. She's got the parachute here in the back. It's a white one instead of Dats Jammin's red one. But she does kind of look like Dats in the back in terms of having these like blocky vents for exhaust, I would assume. But just an overall gorgeous car. I can't get over the fact that Mattel even attempted this. The fact that they were able to execute it so well on such a high level as well. Albeit she's a little small. And oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that she's got like some paint bubblage in the back here. Like you could see multiple bubbles right there. And yeah, more than multiple. It's like she's got a whole grove here. And that's probably just a symptom of the metallic like foil paint that they use here because it's very high level and it's kind of like how they would do it on Steve Slick LePage and you would get some flaking and paint bubbling on them as well. So guys, I have nothing to compare her to because she is so freaking gosh darn unique i just can't say enough how impressed i am with metal year i mean they just went above and beyond and proved my ass wrong because i was like yeah i mean i never would have thought they would do this of course they aren't doing deluxes but i mean this wouldn't even fit in a deluxe you'd have to make her like two pieces or put her on this insane angle kind of like rotor turboski but she's even longer than him so yeah guys let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on Peggy Liner? I'm not going to ask who's your favorite from this pack because I think everyone's going to say Peggy. I really do. I think that is the recency bias. And I just think, I mean, even if you like Dats Jammin or whoever, whoever, you got to go with Peggy because she's just amazing, right? She's just absolutely pull curtutinous. Let's create a little scene here. We got a really nice Salt Flats gang here. Mater, you know what? We're going to replace you with the Chad version. They need to release him as a die cast, the super speeder version. Dats, McQueen, you go in the back. Everybody just looks really unique and super distinguishable from the salt flats. Of course, though, I mean, these two are kind of the same model, but they still are pretty different. Yeah, guys, that's all I have to say. In a time, you know, when they aren't doing deluxes, we need more stuff like this. You know, I know it's not great to buy $40 worth of cars for one new character I get that, but you know, if you break it down, it's not too bad. Just be a little patient. We knew this was coming since September, and by September, almost all these weren't even out yet. You know, only like three of them were. So be patient, keep on the forum, stay active online so you know what's coming. I have to give Mattel props. It's not like they hid this. They could have easily just hid this until December or November, even, and a lot of people would have bought this two pack. They would have bought these singles here and then you would have been screwed, right? But they told you well in advance, hey, we're going to release this pack. So you make your decisions, you plan accordingly and 
Yeah, some people did, some people didn't, like me. But you guys know, I want to review it all for you. So it wasn't much of a choice. <laughs> the docket decides. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon for another video. Bye now.